Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. So recently, Chelsea did something called Sculptober. It was a challenge by another YouTuber named Folygon. Uh, we'll put his link down in the description. You should check him out. He does a lot of really cool 3D modeling stuff. Um, but the challenge was basically to um, model or sculpt 31 things in 31 days, all the days of October. And each day had its own theme, but for day 31, the theme was villain. And so Chelsea decided to do the um, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Also stick around because we have a surprise extra model that we'll show off later in the video. Look! No! It can't be! What is it? It can't be! What did you do, Ray? It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. <laughs> Well, before we get started, um, I wanted to welcome you guys to our new printer room. Um, we're not going to show this off too much because it is still, we're still putting it together. Um, in fact, we just put the flooring in, but this is where we're going to have all of our printers, um, resin printers, everything. So welcome. As for the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, um, Chelsea modeled it in ZBrush. She sculpted it. Um, she's been learning ZBrush a lot this year and she's been absolutely crushing it. Uh, and as she was modeling it, she had the thought that she might be able to pull it off with um, being able to print FDM without needing supports. So let's find out if she is successful and get this thing printing. So we are going to be printing this out on the Artillery Genius. Um, Artillery sent this, sent this to us several months ago and I have to apologize. Um, I mean, as you guys know, we took a bit of a break from the channel, so this video is way overdue. So I apologize to them, but um, we are gonna be using this printer. We're actually printing out two uh, different models here, you'll see in a second. Um, the filament we've got loaded right now is Atomic PLA. It is Candy Apple Golden Pearl, I believe. And the other one we're printing is in uh, Jesse PLA from Printed Solid. Uh, it doesn't have a specific color because it was it's a transition spool, but it's a very lovely green color. So if you are interested in printing this model, you can get it completely free over on Thangs. We will have a link down in the description. Um, most of you probably know what Thangs is from the 3D Printing Nerds video not that long ago. We will also link that up in the corner over here. But if you haven't heard of Thangs, it's basically a 3D model repository that has some pretty unique features to it. Like one of them, they have a geometric search that you can search using a model and they will find geometrically similar models. This video isn't sponsored or anything, uh, we just find it pretty neat. So um, we'll put a link down in the description where you can go get this model for free. So this isn't all. Um, Ghostbusters is kind of a Halloween thing, at least that's when it gets played on TV the most. So uh, I guess I internally kind of associate the two, which was really fitting for the end of Sculpto Sculptober being Halloween. But in true Chaos Core Tech fashion, we are bringing this video to you a month late. So it is now Christmas season. So Chelsea <laughs> is laughing back there. <laughs> but she decided to do a, a Christmas version of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. So we printed that one out as well. I like this one because he has uh, quite an evil little grin on his face. It's pretty funny. But he's wearing a Santa hat and a little Santa, Santa outfit. And this one prints with no supports as well. 
And you can also get it for free over on Things. Link will be down in the description as well. So as I mentioned, these were printed on the Artillery Genius and we will be putting um, some pictures up right now so you can see them a little bit closer. Um, we printed these pretty much stock out of the box. Uh, we used Prusa Slicer and we'll put a link to the profile that we use down in the description. So if you have one of these printers and want to do this as well, these came out great. Um, we could probably do a little bit of tweaking, but just out of the box, um, we didn't even really mess with the settings for the different filaments or anything like that. I think these came out amazing. So you will probably be seeing more of this to come um, in some of these print videos. We will also put a link to this down in the description uh, over on Amazon. I feel like I'm just throwing links at you guys today, so just call me Oprah. Everybody in the audience, now listen to me carefully, is being given a special package. All right, open your boxes. Open your boxes, one, two, three. Well, that was the first video of 3D Print Miss 2020. It's been four years since we've done this. It feels really good to be back. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and get subscribed so you know when the next one is coming, which will be in just two days since we're doing three videos a week for the month of December. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel, we do have a Patreon. In fact, um, all of Chelsea's 30 plus Sculptober models are available over there on our Patreon. We're still a pretty small channel in terms of YouTube, so we don't make a lot of money um, off of these videos. So Patreon uh, really helps us keep things going around here. So a huge thank you to our patrons. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, keep creating.